Also, guys, today it's, uh, fuck you. It's my birthday. I mean, not that I care, but I'm just letting you guys know, that's all. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm 25 now, whoop the fucking do, but, you know. It, it, imagine you getting old every single year. That's fucking crazy, right? It's like, fucking crazy, dude. I, I pray to the Kalela gods, would you please let me win now? It's my it's my birthday today. I want that as a gift. My gift is to beat this today. How about that? Can can I do that? Can I get that Kalela gods? Please. <laughs> Twenty five and still can't beat this game. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. You fucking prick. Shut up. Like, bro, didn't this game come out in, like, 2005? What the fuck have you been doing all these years? You still can't beat separate ways? You're dumb. Bro, can't believe it. It's 2024. You can't, still can't beat separate ways. Bro, you suck at this game, bro. Yeah. I suck. I am, I'm terrible at this. What the fuck are you looking at? Hi. He didn't even, you didn't even get to let him finish his sentence. He was about to go, uh, ye And a chicken egg too? <gasps> now this is the run, guys. This is the fucking run. And a chicken egg. Holy shit. Yeah, egg! Hell yeah, dude. NSP, baby, woo! Woo, chicken egg, yeah. NSP, baby, woo! How would I play it? <laughs> just normally. What do you mean, how am I gonna play it? Yeah, dude, I'm just gonna, like, I haven't played RE6 since, like, it came out. Yeah, bro, I'm just gonna fucking open up RE6 and play it, like, blindfolded, no damage, a knife only. Fuck yeah, dude. Why not? <laughs> do it, no mercy. Oh my god. Just, okay, listen, listen here. Just listen, if I'm going to play RE6, what makes you think I'm gonna go hard mode and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna have a bad time with it whilst, you know, I already played this. Like, I I, I played, like, I beat this, and I'm like, oh yeah, let's just, let's just continue to suffer by playing RE6. Why would I want to enjoy the game? Let's just fucking, you know, big dick full on in, balls deep, and just go fucking the hard mode. Like, hardest difficulty, no mercy, challenge, like, what the fuck? Why would I do that? Because it'll be funny. <laughs> Correction, it'll be funny for you guys, not f not funny for me. <laughs> uh, to k uh, just keep the viewers happy. <laughs> yeah. Ne next, after I beat this, I just I, I just completely switched to RE6. No more RE4 challenge runs or mods or anything like that. We just we just we're just gonna go all out play RE6. I'm gonna be the only RE6 streamer there is. Uh, I don't trust- yeah, see, that's why I don't trust him. Fuck you. Uh, I don't trust that. That- that's why. I- I hit the fucking corner. I hit the corner of the fucking hedge. I hit the corner. I'm actually gonna set up predictions. It's not good. Dude, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, th th this run. Okay, count, count it as this run. This run right now. Okay, not, not, not the one before. This run right now. Okay, just sloth. Just, just, just hold on for a second. Just, just like, just, just like this run. This run. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So don't, don't count that. Don't, don't count it that. So this run. Okay. So the prediction will be this next one. Okay. I was too busy reading chat. Bro keeps getting grabbed. Shut the fuck up. Seriously. He says for president. Ah, yes, of course. If I was the president. Yes, I will name, I will rename the country the, of USSR to hentai and the flag will have booba of naked lady on flag. If you want, if you want hentai citizenship, all you have to do is pledge your allegiance to the Colelo and you will get hentai citizenship. I will also have a national anthem for the country hentai. It's gonna be like... Glory to Hentai, we love the booba. We watch Hentai as we bless to the Colelo. And uh, and and the lyrics also go on for another three minutes. In 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 in, uh, in my country of Hentai, the people come first. Whatever they wish, they get. Every single citizen, every single citizen of hentai, once they get their hentai citizenship, they get one wish from the president. I will make it come true and they will be glorious, glorious citizen of hentai. 
if people don't want taxes in, in the country of hentai, then there will be no more taxes. The country of hentai, we will, we will open up an OnlyFans account and they will post it regularly on OnlyFans, a hundred dollars a month and that is our income for the entire country. Or we will create hentai and people will buy it around the world exclusiv exclusivity. Our country specifically will have amazing hentai that is very exclusive. If anybody streams it and shares it and pirates it, they will be punished by watching uh, gay porn. <laughs> big, big, the watch Boku no Pico. Yes, people who pirate our our our, our uh, beloved hentai, they will they will be forced to eternally watch the worst the worst anime in history. Seriously, nobody believes in me. Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you guys? Nobody fucking believes in me anymore. What the hell is wrong with you? It's so sad. Like, what do I, what, why do I even do this? Why, why do I even do with this? Do this for you guys? Nobody fucking believes in me. Nobody fucking believes in me anymore. So fucking sad. Okay, well thank you, Abdi. You're, you're the only one who believes in me. Nobody else fucking believes in me. My only friend is Abdu. I have no other friends. I have no other fucking friends. I only have Abdu. Everybody else sucks, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't need friends. <laughs> Twenty-six thousand for your champ. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel very bad if I actually get hit or grabbed or something. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I was blocked. It's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It, it, it was literally RNG there. I couldn't get past. I, I couldn't get past. They blocked me again. Yeah, I, I literally they blocked me. I, what the fuck was I supposed, supposed to do? Oh, you don't get it? What the fuck? Where does it go? It just goes into the void. It literally just goes into the void. That's fucked up. What the fuck? He also can't receive. What the shit? Yeah, I'll do another one. Let me just let me try this. Let me just try that try that guy one more time, because I just want you to, I just I just want you to guys to see how fucking ridiculous this part is. Watch me pass this now, okay? Watch, 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 watch. Because it's all just about the positioning of them. See, look, and they just let me they just let me in. See, it's all just about the positioning. Like either like the, the grabber, he stands like right in the middle of the doorway, and then the shield guy is like right in front of him, and so the shield. The shield's fucking hitbox is just like, you know, it's just ridiculous. She, it's on, like, dude, if you, if you watched, you, if you know, you would know it's, it, that, that part was RNG. I tried to run past, it didn't let me. There's nothing I could do. Actually, let me get my thingy ready. Let me get these ready here. I forgot which side they. I think they're. I think they're facing the bottom. I believe they should be facing the bottom. Also, I can't open this because I'm fucking dumbass. Yeah, okay, they're facing the bottom. Alright, let's go. Damn, it's got a smell to it. Damn, it's got a. It's got a boobage smell to it. I don't know which one is the rare. If I had to guess, it's probably the pink. If I had to guess, let me just put the pink down here. Alright. Okay. And do it. Whoa. Holy, holy mother of God. SR, baby, let's go. Look at the texture. Oh my God. Not, And, and the texture on her bra. Holy shit, dude. That's an SR. Beep. Whoa. SSR. Yeah, baby. Damn, these, this pack was nice. This pack. Why does my viewership go up to like 9, 10 viewers when I'm actually open up booba packs? Um, so, <coughs> I played RE6. I played RE6 when it first came out. I played all the campaigns. But I'll tell you right now, I literally remember nothing of the game. The only thing I remember is just like the beginning of RE6. Like the, the banquet hall or whatever with Leon. That's the literally the only thing that I remember and nothing else. She shut the fuck up. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I played it only once. You think I would actually remember? I don't. I don't. I don't lie. Well, actually, I do lie, but like not. I don't, I'm not a compulsive liar. You know. <laughs> My God, she. I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. Oh, booba. 
Oh, oh, oh. I was so close to licking the car just for content. How would I resell it then? Yeah, it would add value. What are you talking about? It's it's gonna add value to it. Isis saliva on Booba card. Duh. Just like a. Oh yeah. I swear I didn't like it. I didn't. It was fake. It was fake. Speaking of Mr. Beast, did you hear about this? Uh, about his little child, child gambling little thing? Yeah, like the thing. The thing is, I don't care about scripted videos. I don't care if it's fake. You know, if it's enjoyable, whatever, right? But what I do have a problem with is, um, yeah, those lotteries and shit like that. Like, I understand, like, kids shouldn't shouldn't be asking for their parents' credit card and shit like that, you know? Like, you know, I don't care whether he fakes his videos or not, but the fact that he did lie, and he did lie and say, Oh, no, none of, none of the videos are fake. I don't fake my videos, they're all real. He literally said that. So, with this new information of, like, you know, of his, of his videos actually being fake, well then, he's not, he's not the honest and nice guy that people know him for, so, like, that's, that's a, that's a part of him, Be him being the honest, nice guy is his persona, right? You know, he helps people out and everything, he doesn't lie, but yeah, he is, right? And I do want to say also that, like, some people are justifying his actions by saying, Oh, but he's doing, he's doing charity work. He donate he donates money and he helps people in need. Like um, you know he gives away he gives away money to uh, to people. He built the wells in, in Africa and he also built the fucking well, he also built the houses for a hundred people around around South America and shit like that. Yeah, you know how many fucking people also did charity work but ended up being like fucked up anyways. Just because I donate money to the to fucking um to uh to to the cancer foundation. Does that give me justification to to scam people or to kill somebody? You sh I, like you shouldn't put your trust in, in any influencer or any or any social media personality, like even me, right? No matter what you think, fucking like, you know, or what they do or what, or you know who they are, even if you've known them for like five years or something, especially someone in, on the internet, you have you still have no idea how they're like on like behind closed doors, right? You still don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's very hard to trust people, especially just people on the internet. Especially, you know, influencers. Literally everyone thought that Mr. Beast was a good guy, but now shit is coming out about him, so... Bro has, bro had... He had three, he has 300 million subscribers, and yet, like... This shit just comes, so comes out. Bro, let's DM a minor, dude. No one, no one will believe them. Let's DM a minor. Yes, let's DM them. <laughs> no one will believe them. They're just stupid kids, and I'm, I'm the influencer. <laughs> that, that's basically in their minds. What if you clip that? Oh my god. Yeah, so people are gonna take it out of context. Dude, you're, you're gonna clip that, and then people are just gonna take that out of context and like, <gasps> oh my god, the Isis likes minors. Ugh, like. Dude, don't be weird. Still, I still remember the um, the the loot boxes thing that Rice Gum did. He's like, oh yeah, buy this twenty dollar loot box, and you could win a two hundred and fifty million dollar mansion, bro. Oh, you could win a fucking car, bro. Buy this twenty this this twenty dollar box, man. You can win the mansion. Oh, fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. Do you remember the apology video he just started giving fake gift card? Wait, who? What? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, uh, yeah, because you know what he did? You know what he did? He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Dude, uh, guys, I love you guys so much, guys. I love you. Guys, I love you. Look, uh, you, you guys, uh, to, show, to show my appreciation for you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you. I'm going to put some gift I'm gonna put some gift codes on the screen. Here's a code here and here and here. You, you guys, here, here, here. And he just pops all over the screen. Guys, I want you to just take these gift cards for yourself because I love you all. Like, you have to, like, pause the video because they're so fast. Like, <laughs> was... 
<laughs> oh, dude. That was something. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, like, I'm laughing because of how fucking ridiculous it was. Like, he didn't even sound genuine at all. He actually literally didn't even sound genuine. I really hate, I really hated when he was flexing his, like, shoes and shit on, on, on fucking, um, he was flexing his, like, uh, shoes or whatever. It's like, yo, I got these new shoes, yeah. Yeah, bro, he flexed everything, man. Yo, I got my, got my, got my mansion, I got my house, I got my shoes, and my gold watch, Rolex, yeah. My fucking Rolex, boy. Yeah. What you gonna do? Fuck all y'all, I got a Rolex, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, douche trooper, yeah, that, douche troopers were... They sucked. Like fucking Rice Gum, the, the Dobre brothers. They sucked ass too. It's probably some other bastards that I never that I never watched because I don't want I never watched those guys in the first place. Cause you know, obviously the kids watched them. It was always the kids who fucking watched them. Let's do my mind is shall we precious. Yes, precious. Except my precious is is the booba cards. It's mine. My own, my precious. Grr, it's none of your business. My precious is to do with my own thing. You want it for yourself? Did you make it to pit? No, I did not make it to the pit, but I could have. But the thing is, RNG was just like, nah, I ain't gonna let you. The grabber blocked me in the doorway with the shield guy, and then I just got grabbed. That's it. Yep, RNG didn't want to let me pass. It just gave me a fucking worse fucking combination there. Cause if if any any streamer, any streamer that gets rich, literally the only the only people, the only people that get the the respect is the viewers, because that's literally the they're the people that actually just made you who you are in the first place. Like they 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 got you to that point, right? They're literally probably the number one who deserve your respect. That's why viewers deserve the streamers like love and, and love and good treatment because they're the ones who made them rich in the first place. But like, you wouldn't get sponsors in the first place if it wasn't for the viewers to get you to that point as well. So still, the viewers come first as well. Yeah, hopefully no fucking RNG garbage. Please no RNG. And no, she, I'm not fucking coping, okay? Shut up. I know what you're thinking, she. Shut the hell up, I'm not coping. Thank you. Hey, see, no RNG. Thank you. Comrade. The fuck you looking at? That's not fair. That's not fair. That ain't fair. Yeah. The fact that they all just ran, ran like straight for me. That was just, that was just bullshit. The fact they all just literally like sh ran straight a a in, the, in the corner. It's so unlucky. Bullshit. <sighs> Later. How the fuck did? I oh, he f he was about to fire late. That's why. Luckily, he fired. He was gonna fire late. I got lucky there that he was gonna fire late. That's crazy. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky there. That was unlucky. Uh, I was lucky on the archer, but it was unlucky there because he he just lunged. That's it. Eh, bad RNG. Um, if I was a streamer that um, that had a lot of followers and shit, and that had millions of dollars, first thing I would do is I would try to think of something, something special maybe for you guys. Obviously, I would, I would ask. I would probably maybe put like a like a survey or something and have people give their ideas of what I should do or something. Or if like multiple people suggest the same thing, then obviously maybe I'll do that. Because yeah, that sounds like a good idea, right? 